This is calculator question number 28 from the January 2017 SAT, which is also practice test 8 from the 2018 version of the SAT prep book from College Board. They give us data on pulse rates before and after exercise, where S1 is the standard deviation and R1 is the range of the first data set, S2 is the standard deviation and R2 is the range of the second data set, and they ask you to compare the standard deviations and ranges and choose which of these four is correct. The range is the difference between the maximum and the minimum. So R1 is 88 minus 56, which is 32. R2, maximum minus minimum, is 112 minus 80, is also 32. So the ranges are the same, which means choices B and C are incorrect, because B and C say the ranges are different. Standard deviation, you can find on your calculator by either entering 56, 64, 68, 68, 68, 68, etc., or entering 56, 64, 68, 72, etc., in list 1, and then the frequencies 1, 1, 5, 8, etc., in list 2. Either way, the, the calculator will then tell you that S1, the standard deviation for the first data set, is about 6 and S2, the standard deviation for the second data set, is about 10. The second data set is much more variable. Standard deviation is a measure of how variable, how spread out your data set is. The standard deviations are not equal, so choice A is wrong, and the correct answer would be D. You do not have to actually calculate the standard deviation. With a little exposure to standard deviation in practice tests or practice problems, you'll learn that standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the data are overall, not just the difference between the maximum and minimum, where range is also a measure of spread, but standard deviation includes all the data in their measure of spread. And since these points are more spread out than the points before exercise in the first data set, the second data set has a greater standard deviation, and in particular for this question, or in general, the standard deviations are different. College Board often asks about mean and median, and less often, but still occasionally, about range and standard deviation. Make sure you review range, standard deviation, and the related concepts in box plots, and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.